Hey guys, we are here to talk to you today about the edge on our knives and why we refer to the way we sharpen our knives as having a working edge. The first thing I wanna kinda of cover with you guys is that an, an edge uh, and the way that you get an edge can relate to a lot of different factors. There can be different factors that play into how successful you are at getting that. Um, and how successful that blade is in keeping an edge. So, a couple things to talk about. Steel selection is extremely important. If you st start with the wrong piece of steel to begin with, uh, that blade will not heat treat, it will not harden, uh, and it will not hold an edge. Uh, you can get almost any piece of steel sharp the first time. The question is, is how long does it hold that edge? How well does it retain it? How tough is it? How well does it put up to abuse? Um, you know, hitting knots in a piece of wood or hitting bone in an animal. So steel selection is important and we've done that for you with our knives. Uh, the steel that we select and the reasons why uh, are, are very important and we feel like we've, we've nailed that for you. Number two is actual edge geometry. If you actually feel this blade from the spine to the edge in this direction here, what you're feeling is for thickness. The thicker the piece of steel is, the harder it's gonna to be to sharpen because you have more steel to remove from behind the edge back in this area here. So as this edge wears down, when you go to resharpen it, you're gonna to have to reestablish that angle and that bevel there. And the, the thicker the steel is behind it, the more you're gonna to have to do, the more work that you're gonna to have to do on your stone. And we'll get into talking about some of the stone stuff here in a minute. So that's part of why we really like a thin edge on a knife. Uh, because one, it cuts your material easier, and number two, it's gonna be easier for you to resharpen quickly in the field for a quick touch up. Leave no doubt that every single knife, including ours, is going to get dull. If you, if you hear something about like, oh, this edge never goes dull, and all this marketing BS, it's not true. An edge is going to go dull, it just depends on how you use it, how long you use it, um, and the steel and all that kind of stuff. So. A working edge is an edge that has a burr on it. It has a bit of a bite to it. It's more like a saw than an actual like razor blade. A razor blade edge, if you look under a microscope, is super smooth. Uh, it makes a very fine, uh, smooth cut. Um, and they're, they're wicked when you touch them on skin and you start to slide, it's like a paper cut. Uh, the problem with that edge is it's not aggressive. So running that same razor blade edge across hair, uh, that razor blade edge will actually slide across that hair without biting in and grabbing. We want an edge that bites. Uh, these are knives with a bite. So when you run this across hide, hair, skin, you're gonna feel that edge trying to claw at that surface and bite. So when you're going across hair, it should be kind of popping that hair in half as it cuts it. Uh, if you look under a microscope at that edge, you're actually gonna see micro teeth, uh, which looks like a saw blade. Those micro teeth are actually ripping at the surface of whatever you're cutting. Uh, now, the reason I also like that is that edge, as it starts to go dull and starts to wear, those micro teeth are gonna reduce in size and they're gonna round off, getting less aggressive. With a razor blade edge, uh, that's really smooth, as soon as you lose that initial sharp surface of that edge, the edge kind of rounds off, it gets kind of flat on it, and it will not cut anymore. Even as our knives start to go dull, there's still some of that ripping and that cutting action that can happen, that sawing action that can happen with a, you know, dulling or, or wearing edge. That's the reason why we like that working edge. Uh, now let's talk about when you're sharpening what you're looking for. You're looking for a burr, and how do you get that burr? Well, I run backwards on my stone, and if you watch our sharpening video, you're gonna see if this is my sharpening stone, I'm gonna start at my tip, and I'm gonna actually run backwards on that stone. I'm gonna feel for this burr, and that burr is actually that saw-like edge that you're gonna want in the end. I work that other side, I get the burr on that side, and then I work that burr down evenly on both sides, and then I reduce that burr down a little bit in size with a strop. With a few passes, and this is our MKC strop here that we have, uh, with a few passes on that strop going backwards, uh, you'll reduce down that size of that burr, you'll also center it in the edge, 
and what you're left with is a very aggressive edge. You know, a, a razor will shave hair really, really impressively, and you know, you even see on our videos, I'll shave hair. It's definitely, it definitely shows a level of sharpness. What that doesn't necessarily show is the level of aggressiveness. So when I'm shaving my hair, there's a lot of times that it's actually trying to cut me, and that's really if I'm sliding at all on my arm, that edge is actually trying to bite at that skin, it's trying to cut, and that's what we're looking for. So that's the working edge, that's the reason behind why we do what we do. Uh, we sell stones on our website, they're work sharp stones, um, and there's different grit stones for different reasons. If you have a ton of work to do to reduce, say, thickness behind that edge, you might want to start with a rougher grit, you know, like a 100 grit stone or 120 grit stone, and then work yourself up uh, and finish off at a, you know, 600 grit stone. Uh, I don't necessarily suggest going to like a 6,000 or an 8,000 grit, especially on a working knife, because again, at that point, you're polishing that edge. It's going to be a nasty sharp edge, but it's not going to work as well in the field for a hunting knife or for a working knife or carving, chopping wood, things like that. So, you know, I like to finish around that four to 600 grit range and then strop that edge and leave it kind of somewhat rough, but that's gonna really saw and cut through material like you want it to. So that's our working edge. That's the reason why uh, go put your knife to work.